Eric Darling here with Eric Darling Data. Getting a nice close up here. <clears throat> Just in case anyone wants to make a deep fake of me. Doing what? I don't know. <laughs> Hope it's something sexy, though. Anyway, uh, I'm going to record a few videos today because uh, I promised you that I would. Uh, and the point of these videos is to walk through some, I guess, common ish query tuning things. Uh, I'm going to. I got some stuff to talk about, you know, working with clients all the time and working and working on writing demos that are sort of inspired by client situations all the time for my glorious, fabulous training days, which I'll lo you lovely people flock to and embrace me and throw flowers at my feet and throw champagne in the air. And <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> So, uh, working on all that stuff, uh, and you know, it's coming up with sort of interesting new things because you know, there's only so many times you can talk about the same old thing over and over again. You got to have some new things going on. Uh, I want to talk about where I've seen some aggregates getting angry. Now, all of these queries are written against SQL Server 2019. Um, it says RTM down here, but I promise you that I am patched up to CU2. Uh, 15.4013 apparently is, 50, is CU2. Uh, because I would like these to have like kind of a shelf life and um, you know in 10 years when everyone is off SQL Server 2017 I would like uh, these things to still be reasonable and valid so uh, I'm gonna run this query <sighs> while this query runs uh, I'm going to tell you that I have upcoming training days in Chicago ahead of their SQL Saturday event in Phoenix ahead of their SQL Saturday event in Boston because apparently the, the the nice organizers in Boston think that I'm a funny person and that they like to have me come teach there I'm excited about that uh, and I also have a uh, a training day in Poland ahead of SQL day so I'm very excited about all these places for like a world traveler jet setting consultant flying around cruising around doing pre comp in places Letting queries run for 30 seconds. Woohoo! We party, baby! So, let's look at why this query ran for 30 seconds. And if we if we zoom in casually to this part of the query plan, we have pretty nicely framed where we spend all of our time. <laughs> now, uh, this being SQL Server 2019, uh, these three operators all execute in batch mode. Okay, so this clustered index scan is batch mode on row store. Uh, this compute scalar is batch mode on a compute scalar. There's, I mean, it's obviously rows in there. And this hash match aggregate is uh, also r running in batch mode, which means that uh, each one of these operators tracks time independently. Okay, in a row mode plan, which you know, we can see when we get to our first row mode operator, which is this nested loops join over here, that this thing will accumulate time for all of its child operators. So uh, to it, this nested loops join did not run for 29 seconds. It ran for 29 minus 10, which brings us to oh, about 19, minus 2.43, which I'm not going to bother with, minus, well, let's see, let's, let's just call this and this 3.5, so that's 13 and a half, minus 29 minus 13 and a half is some number. Uh, I'm sure it's a real number. And then we have to also subtract 10 from down here. So that will be uh, 23 and a half. So this thing ran for, oh, what's a uh, half to four, six, six and a half seconds, which is still not great. But it didn't run on its own for 29 seconds. It ran for all of these things added up. This clustered index seek, which which you can have clustered, you can have index seeks run in batch mode on row store in 2019, but this one did not run in that manner. Now, why this thing sucked? Oh, it all starts here. All starts here with the meme known as bad statistics. <laughs> not out of date statistics, just bad statistics. It can't possibly be out of date. I'm the only one doing anything on this. There have not been any modifications to these tables while we've been sitting here doing things. We get this bad guess over and over and over again. Yay for us. Okay, what happened? SQL Server made a guess. It made a guess that it could, it could we could go from 12 million rows down to 1 million rows if we just aggregated them ahead of time. And if we got down to 1 million rows, I would bet that, that, that a nested loops join would be fantastic here. It would be of no consequence. But 
for 12 million rows, it is not so good. Not, 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 not so good. We do not do a good job here, SQL Server. Uh, and of course, um, if we were to see this query out in the wild, actually, let's go look at what this is aggregating first. So it's our join column post ID. Just want to make sure that everyone's clear on that. So if we were to see this query out in the wild, we might look at the query plan and say, clustered index scan, Pfft, clustered index. We need to add some indexes, boy. Woo, let's add some indexes. We should treat ourselves. We work hard. We play hard. We live it up. We need to add some indexes because that's the only thing that'll make this better or faster or something. And, you know, uh, there are there are people who will, will tell you to add an index for everything. And, and they're, they're not necessarily wrong. If we added an index on the votes table <coughs> on, on post ID, we would get a a statistics object created on the post ID column with with a full scan, but maybe maybe we don't even need that now. Uh, if we look at the the current statistics for the post ID column, we can look over here, and we can see that we did not sample very many rows at all. That is about four hundred ninety two thousand out of about fifty three million. And based on this, we have a density of 0 0.7933241, whatever that means. All I know is that the closer you get to 1, the, the more unique SQL Server things, things are. So SQL Server made this guess that, my goodness, my goodness, this is a very unique column. We could really hash this down to nothing, and everything would be cool. So, yes, if we, we added an index here on... Well, led with post ID, we would get much better statistics on post ID. But what if, what if we just went with a slightly more lo-fi solution? What if we just said 10%? Hmm? What if we just said, let's create a statistics object. Let's sample 10% of the rows, about what, 5.3 million rows rather than 490,000 rows or whatever. And let's go look at the, st the statistics that come from this. Hmm? Yes. Yes, our density has dropped down a bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a slightly, slightly lower density value. And we have sampled slightly more rows. And now, when we go back and we run this query, and we see what happened. I don't know. How long do you think this is going to run for? I don't know currently. I have no idea. Sometimes I guess, other times I don't. So nine seconds. So we went from 30 seconds to nine seconds just by adding a statistic with a 10% sampling rate. And the query plan will look a lot different now. Now notice that, oh, ah, get out of here. <laughs> Tooltips, you're not my friend. Notice that uh, <clears throat> we no longer try to aggregate the post ID column coming out of the votes table. SQL Server has said, no, nah, I, I don't think that's so worth it anymore. Uh, we're not gonna get anywhere doing that. I just skip over that thing. And we also got an, an adaptive join. Mm, yes, look how adaptive this join is. SQL Server made a, made a, made a bet, and it said, I bet you that uh, we're going to use a hash join because we're going to have more than this number of rows come in. And, and SQL Server was right. We had a lot of rows come in. <laughs> and, uh, if, if, but SQL Server hedged its bet a little bit, and it said, I, but I bet at some point in the future we, we might see fewer rows. And if we see fewer rows, I would like to be able to do an, the loops join. So... We got this adaptive join plan where we have that possibility where we, we did the hash join, but we, we, we had a nested loops join in reserve, had that on the back burner just in case. And the result overall is, I think, it's a better execution plan, right? We finished in 10 seconds rather than 30 seconds. Now, of course, we could go further. We could maybe start adding indexes and trying to figure stuff out. But if this isn't a query that runs frequently, if uh, we are already over indexed, if we've... <laughs> Add it up to here with these indexes. Then maybe adding another index isn't the greatest idea in the world. Hmm. Things to ponder. Things to consider. Things to really think about when one is tuning queries and indexes. Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, that's it for this query. Uh, the next query that we're going to talk about is interesting as well, but I'm going to do that in another video because we're about at 10 minutes here, and I know that you all uh, have goldfish brains, and you will not be able to concentrate much further beyond this. And I, I know that because I see the average watch durations from YouTube, so I know, I know. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.